and for today I'm Tesselin. Hey guys, it's Level of It and today I'm inspired to make a tutorial on a shoe refashion slash shoe DIY. I actually wore this sandal in the last video that you just watched. I will link that video on video as well as down below in the description bar for you to see how it looks on the finished products. However, I guarantee you it looks so much better. But these are my inspiration and usually when I design something, I just kind of get inspired by looking at other people's products. I just lose myself in these kind of design stuff. Anyways, I hope you were inspired because this is the inspiration I got and redesigned. And this is how it looks. I hope you like it. And if you do, thumbs up and continue watching the video. If not, then boo, I guess you can just click it off. I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. But anyways, let's get started. Here's the original shoe. I got it for $4. Original price, it's like $34.99. But I shop at the right time and so I got it really cheap. So if you think about it, the full project did not cost me any more than $10. Seriously, $10 for this pair of shoes. Okay, so the tassel was bought on eBay. The thread and um, needle you can find in any kind of store. The pliers is with the jewelry tools and those scissors were Walmart. Now that you already know where to get the stuff, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Here are the tips. Um, there are many ways to make this. Honestly, if you're not the best um, sewing kind of person, use plier as well as key ring to connect this to your um, sandal. But because I'm pretty good at sewing and so I chose the color that would match the gold and I'm just going to sew it in. And you do not want to use regular thread. You want to use the coarse or jean thread. This way it won't break easy on you. And when you sew, keep in mind that you want to hide the thread lines so it's easier to start with um, a sandal that has some kind of embellishment just so it'll help you hide it better and of course match your um, metal theme with whatever you're using the gold wear on top actually also come in many other colors so you just gonna have to look for it Another tip that I have for you is I like these bent needle because um, I stab myself less to be honest. And if you have long nails like myself, use plier to pull it instead or pull it in and out. This way you reduce on stabbing yourself and you can get through the more coarse area of the sandal. Secondly, if these are double layer, do not sew through to the back. Just go in between the two layer and hide all your thread mark so that it looks like it's factory made. Lastly, double knot everything and make sure you have more than enough tools for both sides so that it doesn't look uneven. But then again, when you're doing the bohemian look, it, you do not need an even look. It's just supposed to be inspired, but I like the symmetrical look, maybe because I have OCD or something, I don't know. But yeah, you can definitely design this any way you like, whatever your heart desire. You can either, you can even glitter dip this and or add this in, or dip the end of the tassel for a different color. It's really up to you and your own creativity. It's really important that you take an inspiration and um, you focus on the details because on Honestly, this sandal can be recreated like 10 different ways, but this is just what I like from my inspiration, what I got from the photos. So do your uh, homework, really look through, see it is, visualize what it is that you want to create, and then just let your hand do the work. These would be so beautiful for Coachella, Easter, any kind of bohemian look. So if you like it, thumbs up, let me know if I can do anything better. And I will also have another tutorial based on these kind of castle on another pair of flat just to show you how many different ways you can create it. But if you like it, um, comment, let me know, thumbs up, share it with your friend. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!